My name is Chris Konya. I'm a detective on the streets of Los Angeles and a popular food critic for my city's daily newspaper. Combining my passion for food and skills for uncovering clues, I've become an expert at leading people to the best off-the-beaten-path places to eat. I am the Hungry Detective. I'm here on the world-famous Sunset Strip in Hollywood. It's a place to see and be seen. I'm surrounded by fashionable and trendy restaurants. But you know what? We're not going here. Instead, we're going to my neighborhood. Because when you walk my beat, you know where to eat. Let's do lunch. As a cop patrolling an area of Los Angeles known as the South Bay, I've discovered some true hidden gems. But as a food critic, I've been able to do what I love most, and that's put them on the map. I'm here in front of the Daily Breeze building, the paper that I write for. Hey, Steve. I write the restaurant beats. I know all the places to eat here in the South Bay. South Bay goes from the airport to the harbor, has about a million people, and a bunch of great places to eat. I'm gonna take you to five of my favorites. We're here at the Ports of Call here in LA. The port is where the fishing fleet, the maritime fleet, uh, all that stuff is. And pretty much any city in uh, the world that's got a port, you're gonna have a fish market. And something that these people aren't gonna tolerate is bad fish. All right, if you want good seafood, just come to the source. San Pedro Fish Market. They've been making good seafood here for generations. This place is amazing. It's huge. If it swims, they're cooking it. I'm gonna go find my friend Mike, see if we can investigate this place a little more. Mike, what's up, bro? Chris, good to see you again. Good, good to be back, man. I yeah. forgot how great the view was here. Well, you know, you're always welcome here at San Pedro Fish Market. It's like your second home, right? Oh, this place is fantastic. Yeah. Who started it, your dad? It started by my grandfather, Mackie Angaro. When we opened, I was 12. So my brothers and I, we've worked here since then. With over 2,000 seats and a great view of Los Angeles Harbor, the San Pedro Fish Market serves up fresh seafood in a fun, festive atmosphere. I love mariachi. So this is where all the live seafood's kept? Yeah, this is all of our live uh, crab, lobster, Dungeness crabs, stone crabs, spider crabs. Between three and 5,000 pounds a week we bring in live. That's a lot of crab and a lot of lobster. Let me check some of those bad boys out. All right, pull a couple out, Henry. This is a local, local lobster. Local lobster. Pacific lobster. Over here we got a spider crab. Now, spider what, crab. what technique do you use to get them out of there? The best technique is don't get bit. Not bad. <laughs> We're coming through our main hallway now. This leads us into the fish market where our whole fish are and all of our fillets, where you can choose whatever you'd like to eat. And we'll prepare it for you on the barbecue. Now, how's it work? So I buy what I want, I take it up to the... You bring it right over here to our counter. We'll weigh it up. If you'd like to have it prepared, it's an extra dollar per pound. And okay. then the guys on the fish table over here, they'll, they'll clean it up. They'll, they'll prepare it to go out to the barbecue. And then we're going to give it right back to you. Wow. Now, if I don't want a whole giant fish, yeah. Can I get a small You can portion? look at our, we have a, a whole showcase over here of uh, fillets, oh, shrimp. Check that out. Yeah, lots of different stuff. Come check it out. The lobster, crab, and fish are all popular choices here at the fish market. But my personal favorite, the giant platters of jumbo shrimp. Wow, check this out. Yeah, so what we have here are several different varieties of shrimp. Um, from large jumbo, these are medium shell on shrimp. These are most popular variety right here. Then we have also a head on shrimp. There's a whole shrimp with the head and the shell. And then uh, peeled in vein, different uh, variety of peeled in vein, ready to eat. We just cook them and you pop them in your mouth. And this is my brother, John. Hey, Johnny. How are you doing? You know, just let John know what you want. You're going to get some, some lobster and some shrimp, and he'll set us up. Whatever looks good to you, just pick it up, and we'll cook it up for you. OK, let's do some uh, some shelled shrimp. Are you going to do it with the vegetables and potatoes? Yeah, yes. however, however I should do you it. You like garlic bread? Oh. We got so foot-long like garlic, garlic bread. You're going to love it. Oh, yeah. Now, it's already they seasoned it for me and everything? Yeah, we're going to use our Cajun spices, and we mix ourselves. Nicely done. Cooked on the grill with the rest of their seafood specialties, this house favorite is prepared fajita style. So we're going to throw these on. These are main lobster, and we just, just basically need to kind of throw them down here a little bit. So those will steam in their own juices? Yeah, they're, you know, they're already cooked, so we're just going to heat them up. We're going to put a little bit more of this butter on top. Oh, we're going to throw good. your shrimp right on there. We've got our, our homemade seasoning. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of that on. Wow. Smell that? that. Does that smell good? These are jumbo-sized shrimp. 
There's um, 21 oh, yeah. to 25 of those in a pound. We got about a pound of them here, so you got about 20 or so here. Now the other thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some veggies and potatoes. Okay, veggies and potatoes. So what we're gonna it. do is we're gonna grab some of these that have been sauteed up a little bit. We've got roasted red peppers. What we do is we roast these first. They're delicious with the bell peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Let them saute with the with everything here. Everything so, just kind of marries together. It all goes too. together and it just turns into a big tray of uh, fajitas. All right, I'm definitely looking forward to eating this. Let's roll. All right. I'm starved. So my buddy Mike went a little overboard. That's what I love about places like San Pedro Fish Market. You get great fish, you can put in what you want, and it's just simple and it's good. I mean, look, it's served on a plastic tray. The best part of this is the dripping garlic chili butter. Buttery and succulent. It's not too spicy, but it's got enough heat to make it count. Definitely goes good with a cold beer. Sometimes when you're looking for great seafood, you just gotta come right to the source.